My name is K. Felix, and I welcome you to K. Felix Inspire. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and always hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Do stay tuned for more details in this report. What went wrong, really, during the last elections? <laughs> yes, what went wrong indeed. I laugh because many Zambians are asking me the same question. All of us are asking ourselves the same question. I'm sure that even you, Mr. Mwansa, you're asking yourself that question. What went wrong? I don't think that many Zambians have an answer to that question. <laughs> this was a shock. A shock for every Zambia. A shock for us in the PF, just as it was a shock for UPND. Up to now, we have not come to understand what went wrong. <laughs> it's SLS. You are crying. Your wife is crying. <laughs> Town criers. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> this is just the beginning. The truth of the matter is that this was totally unexpected by every Zambia. But I'm sure that with time we will understand what happened. Now it's a bit too soon to understand. Some people have suggested many questions or answers to this question. Others have attributed to spiritual intervention. Others have also attributed it to intervention by foreign entities. Some also have also attributed it to superstition. The base is yet to come. <laughs> cry, cry, babies. <laughs> As I sit here, all I can say is we are yet to establish what you, you, went wrong. You've been in the political space for a very long time. You've seen governments come and go. And I think this shouldn't really be something very hard for you to comprehend and perhaps understand. You've no, this is, this is extremely hard. <laughs> it's falling up and down like wall of Jericho. This is very hard because in many constituencies, People who were announced as winners of those elections were themselves shocked that they had won. President Hagainde himself was shocked when he heard that he had won. President Lungu was shocked to hear that he had lost. So it's totally different from all the other elections. I'm sure that the people you call on your television, you ask them this question, they all tell you, we didn't expect the results. So there's certainly something bigger than the mm. ICB. The, the, the PND had been talking about, you know, the fact that there's a strong wind of change ahead of the elections. Prior to the elections, I was speaking about, you know, a strong wind of change, uh, you know, and, and what necessitated that, according to them, is the uh, hard economic situation that that, that you, the people, you remember had the last the time we had a, the last time we had a strong wind of change. It was in 2011. Before that, you had it in 1990, 1991. Then you could see it on the streets. You could see it in the press. You could see that people want change. In 1990, 1991, when the MMD was organizing for change, you could see that there was a wind of change. In 2011, you could see that there was a wind of change. Everywhere you went, you could see the wind of change. <music> 